autism and the darker side of the supposed helpers. If you or anyone you know deal with autism in your life, me and my friend who wrote the script for this video would want you to watch this, as the help could sometimes actually be for the worse. This is The Dangers of Autism Cures, written and researched and voiced by Casey and edited by Natsuki Schrank. Unfortunately, the autism community has a history of abuse, misinformation and stigma. Dangerous eugenicist charities that claim to assist. <coughs> autism Speaks places such as the Judge Rottenberg Center, or even spaces that were supposed to help abuse was rampant and dangerous figures who spread false cures such as bleach and cabbage water. And the disturbing thing is, a lot of people, especially a lot of parents, are none the wiser. Nowadays there are many more options for autistics, and more people are aware of what autism is, but I vaguely remember when my little brother was diagnosed with autism, and because of the limited options at the time, it felt next to hopeless for him. I saw a lot of other parents share the sentiment, and this is how I believe abuse starts. Parents are desperate for answers and or help, and the seeming beacon of light appears in front of them. We want to talk specifically about Autism Speaks and the damage they have done. I'm sure some of you know the ad where the mother contemplated driving her daughter off a cliff because she might have to go to an overcrowded school. This is a completely inappropriate thing to say and a disgusting thing to put in a video about autism. Autism Speaks demonizes autism and fearmongers to parents. Their I am autism video is absolutely abhorrent. An ominous voice recites lines such as I am autism. I am visible in your children, but if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I work very quickly. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. And if you are happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. I will never be able to understand what they meant by until it's too late. It's not a disease. There is no cure. You cannot cure autism. You can only help an autistic live in a neurotypical world. Autism Speaks as an organization does not try to make the lives of autistics better. According to the Autism Self-Advocacy Network, in 2019, Autism Speaks donated less than 1% of their revenue to family services, which is what would help autistics who are alive today. Instead, they partner with organizations such as CAN, which stands for Cure Autism Now, and their own mission statement. Cure Autism Now is an organization of parents, clinicians, and leading scientists committed to accelerating research to prevent, treat, and cure autism for individuals and families today and for future generations. Why would you want to prevent autism? Why would you want to cure it? Just further proof that Autism Speaks does not speak for autistics. To all my parents of autistics, we encourage you to not support Autism Speaks. Little side note, at the time of recording, they have no autistic board members. But Autism Speaks isn't the only entity that plagues the community. Oftentimes, children aren't even safe at school. Just by searching autism abuse in school news stories, I get over 13 million results. Let that sink in. What is even more heartbreaking is when places where autistics are supposed to feel safe let abuse happen. The Judge Rottenberg Center was founded in 1971, but behavior modification at JRC relies heavily on aversion therapy. Aversion therapy is a type of therapy that involves repeated pairing of an unwanted behavior with discomfort. Some methods used were contingent food programs, long-term restraint, sensory deprivation, and GED shocks, which is a form of abuse they were most known for. In 2011, a video surfaced of staff tying a patient face down to a four-point board and shocked him 31 times on the highest amperage setting. He was later hospitalized with third-degree burns and acute stress disorder. Another time, two patients were awoken, restrained, and shocked 77 and 29 times on the allegation that they misbehaved. Six patients have 
have died since JRC's founding in 1971, and many attempts by activists have been made to shut down the school permanently. There are many dangerous figures that market to parents of autistic children. Jim Humble, former Scientologist, is an advocate of using a solution of water, citric acid, and chlorine dioxide, bleach, and administering it on topically, orally, or as an enema. MMS is advertised as medicine for HIV, malaria, acne, cancer, and of course, autism. Just to name a few. To quote this website, Many people say MMS cures this or that, but in fact, MMS does not cure disease. MMS kills pathogens and destroys or oxidizes poisons. When pathogens and poisons in the body are reduced or eliminated, then the body can function properly and thereby heal. The body heals the body. MMS helps to line things up so the body can do just that. While he doesn't advertise MMS as a cure necessarily, it still implies that MMS is in any way legitimate. Now, what drinking bleach does do to you is cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, shedding of intestinal mucous membranes, and even kidney failure and hemolysis. Then we have the infamous jelly juice. Mmm, salty cabbage water. Not only does Jillian claim to help with autism, she also claims to help with cancer, the gay, and regenerate limbs. Jelly juice is basically cabbage, water, and uh, Himalayan pink salt blended together and left to ferment for three days. She recommends starting off with two cups a day and working up to an entire gallon. The sheer sodium content is about 18.5 times more sodium than the recommended daily intake of 1,500 milligrams. This induces severe bouts of diarrhea, where some people have been known to shed the lining of their intestines. There's even a known death, which Jillian discounted by saying he didn't consume enough juice and didn't do the procedure right. Her claim is that candida yeast attracts parasites and disease. A common claim among pseudoscience groups is that candida yeast can bloom and overwhelm the body if exposed to the wrong food. Jilly juice is apparently supposed to combat these effects. Keep in mind, Jillian has no history of the medical field. In conclusion, the autism community has gone a long way, but there is still so much to fix. Please do not support Autism Speaks or any of the aforementioned groups or individuals. They do not assist the community at all. Thank you to Miss Miranda Marvin for inspiring me to write this speech. Thank you to my mother and father for being supportive of me doing this and speaking out against this. And thank you to the aforementioned men and women who encourage me to be true to myself and continue speaking on these issues. This was the dangers of autism cures. Please share this with whoever think this might help. We hope that you have learned something today. Sincerely, thank you for watching. I got this special disease It makes it very hard for me To understand or realize what's advertised It makes me seem a little weird Say things that seem a little queer And I think too much about this and that and such and such Autism in my brain